Hi everybody, welcome to the class. So we were doing Grief, a short story by Anton Chekhov. And we had done till here. Uh, against you or fall under the horse feet, they must be doing it on purpose. Right? So let us continue. Now, Aona looks at his fair. His fair was a man uh, with military overcoat and that fair was moving his lips. So, now Aona wants to say something. He opens his mouth but nothing comes out of it. Just a, just a sniff. Sniff means a sigh. Uh, merely uh, air. Okay. The officer inquires what? He asks, do you want to say something? Ayana gives a serious a wry smile and he clears his throat and says, My son died this week, sir. Now, the thing I was uh, discussing yesterday, yesterday in the last lecture that something sad has happened to the protagonist. So, what's sad? What, uh, why he is sad? Because his son has died this, uh, at that week. Okay. Now the officer asks, what did he die of? Why he, how he died? Now Iona turns his whole body around to his fair. How Iona is interested? He wants to, he was curious that somebody asks him. Uh, somebody should ask him and yes, now a pair has asked that how your son died. Now, Iona replies that uh, his son must be uh, suffering from fever. He lay there, he lay three days in the hospital and then died. It is God's will. It is the, uh, it is the what God has done. Okay, now some, uh, see, when Iona moved his body towards his fair, uh, he was just going to collide with someone. Okay, and uh, the one who was, uh, uh, with uh, the one who was uh, in front of uh, Iona Potapo, with whom he was going to collide, he was in darkness, and the sound comes uh, from darkness, turn around you, devil. It means, See in front of you, not at your back. Have you gone cracked or have you gone mad? Okay, look where are you going? Just like uh, he is the person from the darkness in the darkness is scolding Iona Potapov. Okay, then officer says drive on, drive on. Otherwise, drive on, drive on. Otherwise, the, the way you are riding, we will reach there tomorrow. We will reach Vyborskaya tomorrow. So, hurry up. Okay. Then, the sledge driver again. Sledge driver is Yona Potapov. He cranes his neck. Means he starts riding the, uh, he starts concentrating on riding. Okay. Then, several times he looks around at, he looks around at the officer. Now, Iona Potapo, for many times in the journey, when he was taking officer to Vavorskaya, he looks, he looks back at the officer, but the letter means the officer kept his eyes closed, okay, and he was not interested in listening anything. Here, disciplined means he was not interested to listen anything. Now, the sledge reaches its destination, Vavorskaya. Okay, the fair, uh, the fair, uh, the fair, uh, he comes out of the sledge and goes into the, wherever he wants to go and what Iona uh, do after that. What Iona does after that is, Iona stops by a restaurant. Okay, he sits again, there huddled up, again he was not moving. He was not stirring. He was motionless. Again, now snow. Snow has started falling on him as well as his horse or mare. Now, time passes one hour, then another hour. It means he hasn't 
uh, he hasn't got any fare after the officer after he left officer okay now another fare has come three young men okay three young men has come to uh, sit in the sledge and go to police they their destination is to go to police bridge okay now among three young men two are tall and thin okay one is short and hunchbacked hunchbacked means uh, when a person uh, has kind of hunch or a kind of hump on his back okay the photos you can see on google these three people who are revelers who are alcoholic or uh, merry making people um they are railing at each other or they are complaining uh, they are complaining to each other they are stamping loudly on the footpath with their galoshes galoshes is uh, a rubber kind of material which have, which people wore on their uh, uh, above their shoes so that the shoes cannot get wet during the winter season uh, matlab snowy season or during the rainy season okay now they wants to go to police bridge and the hunchback uh says that they will pay three of them will pay 20 kopecks kopecks is the currency of uh of russia just like paisa in our country india now eona starts riding He clicks to the horse. Now twenty kopecks, not a fair price. This twenty kopecks, Ayana should be paid a little bit, a, a little bit high. But twenty kopecks is very, uh, is not a good fair. Okay. Then, but this thing is important. But Ayana Potapov has no thoughts of it. Ayana Potapov has nothing to do with money now. Why? because his son has died okay he has suffered he is suffering from a, such a great tragedy that money money hasn't saved his son and now money is not is of no use to him okay whether it is a ruble ruble is also currency here in india we uh, we can compare it with ru rupee okay or whether it can be 5 kopecks it doesn't matter to him now okay now as long as he has a fare what what is the thing which he is considering is that ayana potapov is giving importance to is that now he is having a fare now he is having someone to him to whom he can talk to the three young men are shoving each other means they are complaining they are oh, they are abusing each other and are, they are using bad language Okay, they go up to the stage. They sit down. They try to sit down at once. All the three try to sit down at once, but they are not able to sit down. So now the question arises: Who will sit and who will stand? After a long discussion, okay, discussion here, angry discussion, okay, harsh discussion, ill temper, abuse. What they what they conclude? the conclude is that the, the two tall people the two tall young man will sit and the shortest who is the hunchback will stand okay okay then well drive on now the hunchback says to uh, the protagonist or you know potapo okay now you can drive setting himself and breaking down ayona's neck breaking down uh, settling himself and breaking down ayona's neck means he is uh, this hunchback this person hunchback is time and again giving a slap on the neck of ayona put cut along cut along means go on what a gap you have got my friend you wouldn't find a worse one in all petersburg It Petersburg is a place in Russia, and uh, see, Ayana Potapov is not financially good, so he is not wearing a very good cap. That is why this. Uh, that is why this 
uh, Hans Back points out it that you will not find a word this, this kind of words uh, gap at anywhere. Eona laughs at this. Now see, Eona is happy that why because he has someone to talk to. Well, nothing to uh, well then nothing to boast of. Wait, wait. It's nothing to boast of means Eona says there is nothing to be proud of. Uh, of my, uh, like my hat is not good. Then Hansback says, if you are not proud of anything, then drive on. Then he says, are you going to drive like this all the way? And shall I give you one in the neck? Again, he says, you are uh, moving, you are driving at a very slow speed, drive uh, very speedily so that we can reach our destination. If you will not do this, I will give you one in the neck. One in the neck means I will blow you your neck. Now, the tall one says that my head aches. And he then says that yesterday at this place, Duck Mass, uh, Massos, he, the, this tall person and Vaska. Vaska is another person's name. He says that I and Vaska had four bottles of brandy. Okay. Another tall one. See, both the tall people, both the tall young men are sitting. Now another tall one says, I cannot make you uh, make out why you talk such stuff. See, they are just discussing. The other tall one says, I don't know why you are speaking like this. And then he says, you lie like a brute, that you are a liar. The first tall one says, no, I uh, I swear it's truth. Now the now again second one speaks that nay that he says no you are a liar only. This is just a phrase. Okay, it uh, it uh, it is a phrasal verb which means you are a liar. Iona now grins. Iona says hey hey, merry gentlemen. He says be calm gentlemen. Now hunchback. Hunchback, the one who is standing, he says, the devil take you. Foo, the devil take you. This is also a kind of uh, swear only. Swear in, uh, uh, swear we generally consider it, uh, we consider the swearing habit of swearing to habit of abusing. Okay. Then, uh, the hunchback says, well, will you get on you old plague or won't you? Is that the way to drive? Give her one with the whip. Hang it all. Hang it all. Give it her well. Now, again, Hunchback is abusing the protagonist, Iona Potapo. Okay. He says, old plague. Plague is a, uh, plague is a disease. Okay. And then he says, is, the, is that the way to drive? Don't you know how to drive? He then says, even don't. Even your mayor doesn't know how to uh, how to uh, move. So give her a whip. Iona is feeling hunched back behind him, and his quivering voice. Quivering means shaking voice of hunched back. He is feeling everything. He is now listening to the three revelers. He hears those abuses. How uh, the protagonist is abused. He hears it. Okay. He sees people. Now, the important thing is that the feeling of loneliness begins little by little to be less heavy on his heart. This line is important. See, Iona Potapo is among the people right now. So, this feeling, this feeling of uh, loneliness, this feeling of uh, the the pain of this uh, death of his son is little by little is decreasing. Why? Because he is with some people. So thank you students for listening. The rest we will do in the next session.